Tim. Okay. Hi, everyone. I think, oh, hey, that was pretty quick. Yeah, that's not bad. That's way better than it was. Uh, all I did was start recording. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're serious? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Zoom. <laughs> oh, <I> love it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We had tech issues. We had tech issues. <laughs> we had to, this camera, this one, pointed at the board, used to be pointed at me. Oh, it's, oh, it's lagging, lagging again. <laughs> <laughs> used to be pointed at me, but because it was lagging, we made it point at the board instead. And now this camera that used to be pointing at the board is now pointing at me. So now I'm like <laughs> in much higher resolution. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were time traveling in the other one <laughs> with the other setup. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're starting a new scenario finally for all finally. of you who noticed that we had 11 million attempts at the slave pens we finally learned how to play after over a year um no we finally found out that the information that we needed was that the guy didn't move the way we thought he did and so once we had that information it was much easier so now we are I think helping him to free the rest of his tribe or something like that. So another yeah. escort quest, sort we of. Freed him. I'm using the um, mind thief figure as him now. Oh, good call. I yeah, I'm gonna switch because that makes way more sense than what I was trying to do, which was pretend like I knew what was going on. <laughs> And for all of you tuning in who knew that my dog likes to eat these, I think he's eaten another one. So I'm going to have to like... Do you know which know one? Um, the one that you were playing uh, when we tried our four-player version. Um, this one? The um, spell weaver? Yeah, the spell weaver. I am suspicious because there were four boxes and now there's only three boxes. Mm. I don't know. He seems to prefer to eat female characters, so. I feel like we're, we're out of sync with your dog eating the figures. I, I should eat them myself or something to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I've got, like, I'm totally using our old versions of the characters and, like, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, super fun. <laughs> but that's life when you have a dog. Um, all right. Yeah. So this is exciting. So we have, we have, we're back in the city being tri triumphant from escorting the stupid, wait, are we, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, we could have linked straight from the slave pens to this, but because we paused, because we didn't feel like doing two scenarios in one day. <laughs> so we're like, yeah, we'll take you to free, uh, free these other, uh, guys but we're gonna take you to the city first yeah because i had to level up and you only get to level up in the city so we definitely went to the city i was like hold on i think yeah, okay. i might have some more knowledge i need to go get yeah i leveled up as well i actually leveled yeah. up last time but i forgot to do it in time for the game so that i retroactively leveled up um okay so that means we have a city event and then we have a road event going to this uh whatever this is tribe um it's an Enox, it's another Enox encampment, except this time we're like avenging warriors instead of evil. Right, this time we actually mean to wipe them out. <laughs> <laughs> um, event number 24. Okay. Upon returning to the city after your latest adventure, you are approached by a high-ranking guard at the gate. I feel like we did this one. 
nope, it goes back in the deck. Okay. Ah, good. I'm glad to have caught you, the guard begins. The capital has fallen behind on shipments of wood to Gloomhaven, so now it falls to us to pick up the slack so that construction of important city buildings does not stagnate. The guard points to the east. We're forming an expedition to gather logs from the corpse wood. We could use your help either to guard against enemies or to chop down trees. Option A, join the expedition as a guard, or option B, join the expedition as a logger. What did we do last time? I don't remember. It was like one of the very early city events. I just remember being sent out to do logging things. Um, I think we should guard because now I'm a guardy type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that my summoner is not going to be a great logger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we guarded. Um, the logging expedition heads to the outskirts of the corpse wood and begins felling trees and transporting them back to Gloomhaven. You stay on your guard patrolling the area and make sure there are no surprise attacks. A couple of hours in, a tribe of vermlings appear through the woods, but you are alert and prepared, dispatching them without a single casualty. The rest of the day goes by uneventfully. Gain 10 experience each. Ooh. So that's exciting. Is this a remove, remove the card now? Nope, back in the deck. Oh, interesting. 10 XP each. Actually, let's not do it that way. It'd be funny if you had to level up again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be funny, but I wouldn't have time to do it. It's so boring to watch somebody try to level up. So boring. Okay. I still have 52 points to get before that. Okay, road event? Mm-hmm. Uh, 11. Oh, you are headed through a mountainous region when the ground begins to shift and shake beneath you. Taken off guard, you fall to your knees. The tremors continue unabated and grow stronger. You hear rumbling as rocks begin to tumble down the mountainside. Option A, try to find a clearing when you, where you can avoid the falling rocks, or option B, take cover under a nearby outcropping and wait out the earthquake. I remember this one, and last time we found the clearing, and I... And it wasn't that great. So we should definitely find an outcrop instead. Okay. Option B. Um, oh, yay. Yeah, we have the, so it's if you have a crag heart, a something, a something, or the summoner, um, you jump under an outcropping, but something is not right. Those among you attuned to the elements turn toward the face of the mountain and step into it as though the rocks were gone. Inside, you see an odd crystal jutting out of the earth. You snatch it up and the tremors stop. Add city event th uh, 73 to the deck. Oh, man. And, and rip up this card. Add city event 73? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then this card gets ripped up. All right, we're ready. Um, oh, that's a long intro. It is a long intro, and there's a long special rules. Okay, I guess I'll read it since you've been reading. Um, okay. It's, this one's called Tribal Assault. Introduction. Red Thorn, I guess that's this guy, mm -hmm. uh, leads you from the ruined Inox Slaver Camp northeast into the dense forest by way of Gloomhaven. <laughs> the other village is not too far from here. It is well hidden, but I fear the worst. Even when faced with seemingly impassable walls of plant life, the orchid, orchid uh, quickly and effortlessly moves through the trees and open passages, opens passages for you to take as well. The inox and the orchids used to live in relative harmony here. We weren't necessarily friendly, but we left each other alone. In more recent years, however, the inox have become increasingly aggressive and territorial, encroaching on our land and attacking our people. Their destruction of my village is just the latest step in a long path of escalation. 
I don't know what caused the behavior, but after watching my family die in front of me, I believe the only course of action is to exterminate the monsters before they burn down every orchid village in the forest. He's gone full in again. Yeah. Redthorn drops you into silence and quietly motions you forward. He points into the trees. You don't see anything at first, but then you pick out aberrations in the foliage, buildings well hidden among the trees. Recognizing these, you also begin to notice figures moving around a clearing near the buildings, horned figures. Inox! I hope we are not too late, Redthorn readies his bow and begins to creep forward. Come, mercenaries, help me save my people and rid the world of these savage creatures. You move quickly through the trees, emerging into the clearing with weapons drawn. Your arrival comes not a moment too soon as you see a large inox in the center of the clearing preparing to kill one of the captive orchids. Redthorn notches an arrow into his bow. No orchids will die this day. Why didn't he fight last time? <laughs> I don't know. He didn't have his bow. He I had guess. a you know, sword. He didn't know what he was doing with it. He didn't know how to use it. Yeah. All right, so... There's all these guys. These are little uh, orchids that we have to protect from these guys. And he actually gets to go. And uh, he goes first probably each turn, right? He goes first every time. Yeah, because he goes initiative one. And what's really yeah, neat. Three, range three. Yeah. What's really neat is if we expend some energy to free the captive orchids, he gets more and more attack. Yep. He, and he gets to use an attack modifier deck, whichever one we wish him to use. Do we want to give him his own deck? Or just pull from one of ours? We should pull from yours. Yeah, mine is pretty sweet deck. Well, yeah, and I'm gonna, if I do the blessed thing, it's gonna be on your deck. Right, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good plan. Okay, so I will be drawing for him as well. Um, okay, where do we start? Um, I was gonna start in like the back corner so that I can summon things in front of me. To go zooming forward, maybe. Like, okay. I'll start right next to him. And we have three guards, twelve of elite, and an archer. There's six. There's the culprit in question. Yeah, you. Did you eat the spell weaver? Maybe. <laughs> He's refusing to admit culpability. Okay, I have 18. I have um, 
Yeah, they're gonna move and attack. Um, all right, first, this little guy has to move within range, so he moves one space, I guess. Then I guess he'll shoot this guy. Uh, which one? The the one? Uh, the, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. He shoots that guy for three plus one for four. Sure. He's way more useful this time. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Then it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move um, one, two, three. Could be right in the middle of them. And shield myself up. So I have a shield now. Where did you move? The lag is bad again, and you're still in the original spot on the that uh, monitor. Between, between the two guys. OK. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, you're still, that needs like refreshed or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Uh, and oh, then well. I'm going to um, put on retaliate too. So I have retaliate now. Okay, cool. Um, now it's their turn. The elite goes first, right? Yeah. How much does he move? He moves three. Okay, that's not terrible. One, two, three, like here, I guess. He just yeah he Next. moves up, he moves up three. Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't hit anybody because nobody's in range. Right. The other two guys attack me because I'm in range. Wait a second. Okay, so this is going to make us all very sad. Um, he was in range of an orchid. Wouldn't he just whack that orchid? Because it's based on a m minimum amount to move. To hit something? To hit something. Mm. And then if two things are the same distance, then they do the other. Yeah, I think you're right. So uh, why don't we say I moved here instead so that I am in range? OK. So then he moves up to me and hits me. Doesn't he still hit the other guy, though, because it's the minimum amount of movement? Oh, is it? I think so. That's true. I think that is true. Then, then we have an issue. <laughs> That's going to make this way harder. Oh, I forgot to do the hound. The hound actually goes. Yeah, a monster will focus on the enemy figure. It can perform its current attack against using the least amount of movement. So, so he's going to whack that orchid. Yeah, and I might as well not have moved there, right? Oh, no, I guess yeah. I'll, still, I'll still move there because next turn, maybe I can run up to him. OK, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do is a lot of running up. I'm worried about that hound, too. Yeah, I forgot to um, draw for the hound. So the hound actually was supposed to go before me. Um, he just muddles. He muddles this uh, or orchid. That's it. OK, that's fine because they don't have an attack, so. Okay, so then this guy is going to attack that orchid. And if he kills him yeah. right now, then the game game's over. <laughs> I I don't think he'll be able to. How much how many hit points do they have? 10. Four, oh, 10 hit points, yeah. We might get a double. Oh, that still wouldn't be enough. Yeah, but if he hits a double, that's still six, just 6 points off. So yeah. All right. So what's he got? We can, Zero. I think we can, okay. So three points off? Yep. Okay. Um, I think we can heal them. Nope, they cannot be healed. Never mind, they can't be healed. So we need to get him away from that guy like now. 
Yeah. Um, the other two guys, so this one guy's going to move forward one space, and then both of them are going to hit me. Okay. Um, so the first guy draws a times two. So I get, <laughs> hit, I get hit for four, but I have one shield, so I get hit for three. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use my chain mail, so I get hit for two. Okay. And then which guy was it that, that hit you? Um, the, this guy that's in front of me, I guess. Okay. And then the other guy... You have retaliate, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. So he gets two points of damage. Okay. So now he's at five. The other guy hits me at negative one, so he does zero points. Um, but uh, also gets retaliated. So he's at nine. Okay. Oh, because it was two times. I, for, I was trying to figure out why it was zero damage when the other one was three, two. But then I realized the other guy pulled a times two. Yeah. The archer has a range of three, target two. So is he going to move up to try to target two, or is he just going to shoot me? He's going to shoot you in the orchid behind him. You're right. Yeah, he's going to. Yep, that's true. Oh, it could be over, right? Wait, how much damage did you take? Three, right? Oh, it can't be over. Yeah, he's got seven. He's got seven hit points, so it won't be over yet. It won't but be over yet. <laughs> we need to get in there. Okay, so this archer attacks the orchid first and draws a plus one, so it does three damage to the orchid. Oh. So he's now at four, right? Yep. And then he draws a plus one against me. So that's uh, three damage minus the two shields. So I can take one damage. And my chain mill is almost used up already. <laughs> now it's your turn. OK. All right, I'm going to move. Actually, am I? Mm. I am. All right, I'm going to move up to. That's a sad waste of that card. And then I'm going to summon a Void Eater next to me. Between you and him, or uh, against the wall? Between me and the and our orchid. Okay. So green one. Um, and that is my turn. Unfortunately, <laughs> my next turn will be better. I hope. Okay. And then do these guys do anything? Which guys? The orchid. The orchid? I don't think so. Yeah. I think they're like literally stuck in place. They're like chained down. Well, that sucks. Yep. I have to move three. Because otherwise, this is going to be a really short game. Uh -huh. Or we'll just reset and try Uh, okay, I have 23. I have 82. Okay. 
Okay, our friend first. Who should he shoot? The guy that's only got five? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he shoots the guy that has five for three plus zero for three. So three points of damage. That guy's almost dead. Okay. Um, it's my turn. I'm going to... Um... I am going to attack this guy, the other guy who isn't almost dead, with a attack two plus a stun. OK. I don't have to shuffle. Oh, we forgot to draw um, those dungeon cards. Yeah, we did. I don't have a goal. <laughs> Let me do this attack, I guess, and then we'll do that. Draw plus zero. So that's two points of damage to this guy. So he's at seven, but he's also stunned. OK. And then I am moving three spaces. One, two, three. Cool. Oh, wait. It's only one point of damage to that guy, because um, my um, retaliate means I have minus one to attacks. Oh, OK. And then we need these guys. Can you see these? Uh, yes. Jeez. Oh, wait, can you hold them up again? I've forgotten. Got one. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I didn't like pick something random. All right, I'm going to do this one. I'm doing this one. You read that. <laughs> okay, uh, so I just moved. It's now the guards' turns. The elite doesn't need to move and is gonna attack. The elite will move because he has a range of two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the lead's going to move, I guess, here, away from both of us. Yeah. So that he can shoot me. Yep. OK, so he shoots me um, and draws minus one. So he had an attack of four, so he hit me for three. And I have the shield and chain mail, so he hit me for one. OK. So I have 16. My chain mail's used up. Um, then the other guys, this guy's stunned, so he just becomes not stunned. The other guy m moves, or doesn't need to move and just shoots me in the back, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because this guy's out of range. Mm -hmm. So he shoots me in the back. And he draws a minus two, so he does no damage. Sweet. Wait. No, he does one damage because I don't have that shield anymore. Oh. That means the other guy hit me for another. So I'm actually at 14. OK. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. And then the archer has a range of four. I think the archer shoots me also. No, one, two, three, four. He shoots the our, our uh, red thorn dude. Mm -hmm. So he has an attack of four, draws a plus zero. So four points on our little, our little guy. Four points, okay. He's down to 11. Okay, and now it's your turn. He's healable though, so you can heal him. We just can't heal the the other NPCs. Okay. Okay, so my um, what's his name? Void Eater guy shoots this guy that's right in front of him, I guess, for two and a curse. For three and a curse. So that guy is now cursed, and three more points of damage. So he's down to five. But he's also cursed. And then um, I am summoning my two shadow wolves right in front of me. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And range three, two. Okay, and then um, I now have attack three, range three. Um, so do you want me to shoot the guy that's only got two points and see if I can get rid of him? Because that'll be attack three. Yeah. I guess so. I'm going to attack the guy with two points plus zero. So I did three points of damage. He's dead. All right, dude. And that is my turn. OK, the hound. Oh, yeah, um, the hound. It was just going to attack this orchid or um three plus zero three points okay so okay terrible sad face so i should probably try to get up with that guy with the little hound on this next turn if i can <clears throat> i'm not sure if i can but i can try Do I have anything awesome? You know, you don't. This has not been going how I thought it would go. What, this scenario? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this will work, but I have 65. I have 13. Okay. The hound has six. Um, oh, no. Well, whatever. So this guy is going to shoot this guard. For three plus zero for three. Okay. Three points. He's down to two. Yep. And the hound is going to hit that orchid attacking for two 
and immobilize, because immobilize doesn't matter. So you attack them for two minus one, one point to the orchid. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. So first my um, Void Eater shoots this guy for two and a curse again. Ooh. For two and he get, puts the, um, the like leaf symbol up. So that guy's now dead. Dead. Leaf. And then my, uh, I guess the shadow wolf that's like in between the two moves forward two, one, two onto that loot and attacks the archer for two plus two for four. Wow, nice job. Four. Then my other shadow wolf does the same thing. One, two, attacks him for two, plus one for three, two, three. And then it's finally my turn. <laughs> and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna summon my skeleton right in front of me next to that hound guy. Nope, that's not what I want. Red. One, three, two, two. And um, then I'm going to attack the hound for three. Actually, no, never mind. I'm going to attack the archer for three because that makes way more sense to get rid of him and then worry about the hound since the hound already went. Plus zero, so that guy is now also dead. And that was my turn. That was an epic turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, my turns are not always epic. It takes me a little while to get started, and then once I've gotten started, then it goes a little berserk. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna do a dumb thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's see if it makes sense. Um, well, okay. So first, he is gonna shield himself up and gain five retaliate. Huh. Uh, and then not do anything else. So I don't think I want to attack him this turn. Probably not. So I am going to Wow. Should I start? Um, sorry, go ahead. Finish your turn and then I'll ask my question. <laughs> got nothing good so this is going to be this is going to seem really dumb <laughs> i am first i'm going to attack the air cuz i don't want to attack him and then i'm going to move on to this trap <laughs> yeah cuz that's an immobilized and poison trap not damage though but now um, you're immobilized and poisoned Oh, that's lame. <laughs> Immobilized and poisoned. <laughs> that's the name of your autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I didn't take damage and I can heal myself. Uh... So the question I was going to ask is whether it makes sense for me to start um, like freeing some of these guys if I can, because then he it'll, gets more attack. Yeah, it'll beef up that guy. I think that makes sense. I just might need help getting my cards back. Right. Um, 
Well, anyways, this is the next round. Okay. Oops, that guy's dead. Dead. I am immobilized. <laughs> you are immobilized. That is true. And poisoned. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have 57. Okay, I have 86. The guard goes first. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to shield and retaliate up. I am Well, no, this guy goes first. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's going to move. Who's closest now? I guess the guard, right? They're actually exactly the same distance from him. It doesn't make sense. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it, it does make sense. But four, he's five, gonna, seven. he can move farther over here though because the, the wolves in the way. So I think he's gonna go here. Can you see where I'm pointing? Yes. But then nobody's in range, so he's just there. Yeah. Then the guard shields and retaliates again. Yeah. We're going to have to shoot him. Then I, um, <laughs> I can't move. I heal myself, so I no longer have poison. OK. And then I don't do anything with my other thing. Oh, yes, you do. If you, because you can sac you can um, discard your card to free this guy. Oh yeah, I'm discarding my card to free that guy. That guy is free. Is it discard? Is it like use a card from your from their hand or discard a card from your says, hand or is it? It says they can may forego an action discarding one card instead. So you just foregoed your other action. Okay. Well, he did one action. So, so then this guy free. has plus one attack now. He has four attack now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the, the um, experience side to show that. So he now has a one experience. Okay. The hound. There's still a lot um, of documentation on this one. The, the hound's going to attack, move, and attack. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Gonna attack my skeleton. Yeah, just attack your skeleton twice, I think. Not gonna move. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so he draws a plus zero, but it's pierce, so one point. Okay. And then he draws a negative one, so zero points. Sweet. And now it's your turn. Okay. So my void eater is gonna move three, I guess, towards the hound because he's kind of blocked. One, two, three, over next to my wolf. He does not have the range in order to hit anybody, so he just chills there. Um, the shadow wolf, wolves, they can't get to the hound, so they're going to go for, oh, they're going to die horribly because of the retaliate, but they're too stupid for me to tell them not to do that. So they're going to go one, two, three, and hit this guard for two. Ooh. Times two and a wound. So the guard is hit for four, one, two, three, four, and is wounded. The guard has one shield. 
They're, they have pierce of two. Oh, yeah, you're right. One, two, three, four. And a wound, you And say? then the retaliate is like five retaliate, right? Yeah. So that now that wolf is dead. Well sacrificed wolf. wolf. Your other wolf does the same thing. And then thing. the other wolf does the exact same thing, moves up, hits him for two, and a, oh no, just hits him for two plus one, hits him for three, still piercing, and then dies gloriously in battle because he gets retaliated five. So now that guy has a wound at least. So he yeah. can just, we can leave him alone and he'll eventually die. <laughs> That's true. Oh, and then my skeleton goes, I'm still going. I don't know why I thought I was done. My skeleton goes, he hits the wolf, the wolf, the hound, whatever this is, for two and a wound, plus one for three and a wound. So now the hound is also wounded and has three damage off. Wow. And then I am going to attack the hound. Wait, yeah, I'm not close enough. Attack the hound for three and immobilize. Ooh, I healed myself for one that I didn't need for four and immobilize. So now the wolf is down to one hit point and he's also immobilized. So he'll die on his next turn. And then I'm going to sacrifice my other card to free this guy because there was nothing on that card to do. So now our little dude does five damage on the raid turn. And that is my turn. He's hulking oh, out. Huh? He's hulking out. He is hulking out. I'm also gonna use a minor stamina potion because okay. I have like no cards now. He's hulking out except with a uh, bow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next okay. round. I got a shuffle. That was a crazy round. I used a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm no longer immobilized, right? Yes, you are no longer immobilized. Hound's going to be dead. Um, what are the chances he's going to retaliate again? <laughs> I don't know. But we now have some ranged guys that are going to go after him. Well, one range guy that's going to like move up one and just start shooting him for five at a time, so. Yeah. He will be dead very soon, I think. But I'm going to have to take a long rest, like, soon. Mm. Oh, wait. My other wolf also dead. Forgot to dead him on the app. Well sacrificed wolves. I have 29. I have 32. The guard has 15. He's going to uh -huh. shield up, attack nothing, and poison nothing. Okay. And he takes damage because he has, he has a wound. The wolf is next and dies. Dead. Bye bye. Okay. And I'm next. Mm -hmm. So the guard has one shield and three retaliate. You could always like go into the next room or something because he's wounded and oh we forgot to do this guy again we keep forgetting yeah. our orchid man he's so he moved move forward one space and shoot him right yeah shoot him for five plus zero so shot him for five yeah i totally need to just leave him alone because he's just gonna die on his own yeah yeah, rather, in, if we don't shoot him again, he's going to die in two moves, so. Would you rather I move into this room or into the big one? Um, why don't we clear that little room first, if you can get there? If you can. can't get there, no worries. I can do one ally within range three, may move four. 
So okay. A um, skeleton or you or um, or our friend can move four spaces. Well, I can't get to the door. The skeleton could, but the skeleton isn't meant to open doors. But he would all move up into this guy. The, the door is blocked by an orchid and a, and the trap, right? Yeah, but we can, they're allies, so we can move through them. The orchids aren't allies. Yes, they are. They count as allies. I thought it said that they didn't. Oh no, they're not. You're not. You're absolutely correct. We can't move through them. Never mind. So, um, so on his own, the, uh, the skeleton's just going to move up two space and then attack the dude, right? Yeah. Do we want him to do that? I mean, we could. He's. Down to two hit points. So the retaliate will wipe him out. Yeah. No, it won't. If he if he kills him, then he that guy doesn't get to right. retaliate. Right. He only does attack two though, so it could be. Yeah, it might not work. Yeah. So why don't I use this to move the skeleton back? Am I allowed to do that? Or does he have to follow his rules? I'm not sure. One um, ally within range three may perform move four. I think he would have to follow his own rules because you have a card that specifically says you can control. Mm -hmm. My um, card doesn't say that. So I wait, within range what? Within range three? Yeah. Why don't we move this guy over here and then he'll shoot this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot we had that other guy. Yeah, so we'll move yeah. that guy. How far? Uh, he gets to move four, so he's going to go. What's one, his range? Two. His range is two, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, like up next to you. Yep. So that he can shoot him on the next turn. Okay, so that's that card. Or, then, not the next turn, but like once I get to go. I'm going to move um, four spaces, or three spaces, I guess. One, two, three, here. So then on my next turn, I can free the orchid so that we have a clearing to the doorway. Okay. Okay, that's my turn. And now it's your turn. Okay, so first this Void Eater shoots him for um, two and curse. Wounded plus one for three and curse, he is dead. Oh wait. Does he have a shield? Yeah, he does. Of one. Okay, he's still dead. Dead. Um, and then my skeleton guy doesn't do anything because he's not got anybody to <coughs> charge at. So I'm gonna... I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move three, one, two, three, and I am going to get this guy out of the way for you. So now you don't have to worry about it, but now I have to take a long rest. Okay. So now um, our little orchid guy does six damage every time. So you went up next to me and got rid of this guy. Yep. Okay. Um, I have and to take a rest of some sort. I'm going to take a long rest, too. Okay. Seems reasonable. I don't want to get rid of the camp. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna punt that one. 
Okay, so uh, I guess we'll, we'll do it first. Uh, next round. Um, Are you taking a long rest too? Yeah, so I'm at 99. You're at 99. The little guy doesn't do anything, right? Um, I, I think he... Does he count as a summon or does he just do his thing? But he, there's no enemy. Does he open doors? It doesn't say anything about him opening doors or anything. It just says he's an ally. Okay. I don't think he does anything. I don't think he does anything either. Okay, so he doesn't do anything, and then we both get a long rest is basically what I'm seeing here. Yeah. And that That's means your, boring. your summon guys don't do anything either. <laughs> no, yeah. they don't. Um, long rest. How much do you heal? Two? Two, I think, yeah. Ooh. Yep. Oh, you know what? Can I pretend like I did a heal two on my skeleton on that last turn? <laughs> sure. Okay. Cheating again. Okay. And now it's unspent again because I took a long rest. <laughs> He's back to full health now. <laughs> okay. Now it's next round. Draw. Next round. Should both of us go in the room or should one of us go into the other room? How many bad guys are we talking? There's two bad guys in the next room and an orchid. I guess we should both go in there, huh? Well, I mean, you go first and then I'll see what I can do. Cause my guys, my summons are all gonna go, like try to go shooting over there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're the good dog. You don't eat the minis. You are always welcome to come play Blue Maven. Mm -hmm. Unlike the other one. I'm going to do this. I've got 23. I have 32. OK. I am going to move one, two. Pound. And a archer. And then I saw two movements, so I'm going to move two more. One, two. Um, actually, I have, I have five movement. I can move right between them. Cool. Ooh, that traps the, um, the archer, so he's always at a disadvantage. Okay. Yes. So I move between them, and then I am going to attack. Let's see. These guys are going to... The hound's going to move and attack. We forgot to do this guy again, but I guess he wouldn't have done anything because we hadn't opened the door yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. The archer's going to move and attack. The archer can't do anything. So um, I'm going to attack the hound. OK. Um, so I have attack of four. I cause a sun uh, symbol to appear. OK. And I draw. Plus two. So six to the hound. Wow. Hound has retaliate one. Oh, that's sad. 
but I have nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my chainmail so it does nothing. Okay. But then isn't he going to whack you too? Oh, wait. Uh, you can't do that with retaliate, right? Yeah, you can't. So he Only with attacks. Damage. I'm at 15 now. Okay. Okay, now and the hound gonna... gets to go. He's going to hit me for two. Or he's going to hit me for four. Because I'm adjacent to one of his allies. Mm -hmm. So he hits me for four plus one. So five points. Uh, now I'm using my chainmail. So four points. You're being a very good tank. <laughs> um, but I retaliate on him too. So he's dead. Dead. Now the archer can't move away, so attacks me at disadvantage. Right? Yeah. Or does he shoot the orchid? Oh, he shoots the orchid. Yeah, he shoots the orchid. I shouldn't have gone right mm -hmm. next to him. Whatever. Okay. It'll so be he, okay. That orchid. That orchid's at full health, so yeah, it'll be he, okay. He shoots the orchid for plus zero, so three points of damage to the orchid. And, and now it's your turn. Okay. So my void eater moves two, three spaces towards that door. One, two, three. Because he's too stupid to realize that he shouldn't do that. And then my skeleton moves two, one, two. Totally useless, guys. Thanks. And I'm going to move. Um, I don't think I need help. I'm gonna move, yeah, I'm going to move three spaces. One, two, three, in, just inside the doorway, like to the left of the doorway. Oh, I, I said I, I don't think I need help with the archer. Oh, you don't need help? OK. Where was I? There. So you want me to go to the other door? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm worried about so I'm gonna... not having enough cards. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, on into the doorway. Yay. Okay. Um, I have another thing that's going to happen then at that point, but hold on because we got to spawn like 800 things. Holy shit. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. But there's only one orchid and it's like not near anybody. So it might be okay. Except I might die, but that's okay. <laughs> you won't die. Two, five, and four. Yeah, this one guy has like a wolf army. Yep. What is that? A shaman? And yeah, then... there's a shaman with the wolf army, and then there's an archer, and then a guard. Oh, and a... Okay, so now that I'm here, all by myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, hold on. I guess I got to spawn all these. And another archer. Jesus Christ. A shaman and a guard. And they all get to take a turn. Um, and I don't have any more moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to shoot this guy that's in front of me, I guess, this guard. Move four. Oh, lordy. I'm about to get whacked. Like, a lot. Okay. <sighs> At least I still you have, have a healing potion. I don't have invisibility. That was my other guy. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to attack the... What is the guard doing? Shielding and retaliate. Okay, I'm not attacking the guard. I'm going to attack 
this wolf, the most forward wolf for three plus zero for three. So yay, that was so helpful. And that is my turn that is about to go horribly, horribly wrong. I'm sorry, that was a bad suggestion. <laughs> Okay, we have to rewind. That guard, uh, all he does is shield up. The three wolves. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm about to get beat the heck. They can move four. One, two. Three. Yep. Yeah, so they basically surround you like that. Yeah, but they go, the, only, the first one doesn't, uh, doesn't hit me for four at least because I'm not next to anybody. That's true. Okay, so the first one hits you for two and misses, just whiffs. Yes. Wait, second which one? Okay. Second one hits you for four plus one, so that's five. Yeah. The third one okay. misses, whiffed. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then. That's not as bad as it could have gone. The elite archer has to go. Oh. He's got a range of four, an attack of four. So, he, so he's going to attack, attack you. Plus zero, four points to you. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm still alive, but. <laughs> now the shaman goes, right? Yeah. He heals for two and it affects all adjacent allies. No, I mean, he heals for one. So he's going to move here and heal that one guy that you hit for one point. Hmm. Back up to six. Wait, is he, can he move, he moves two? Okay. How much did he heal him for? Just one point. Okay. But then he blesses himself. So now this deck has a bless card in it too. Blah. I'm gonna have to run away, I think. Well, next turn, this guy's gonna go ballistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it is the next round, so. Yeah. We should have switched places, I think, because I have all these retaliate. How hurt are you? Um, I'm down to eight of 17, so half. Okay, I can try to run over there and heal you or something. Okay, I need a snack really quick, but um, my number is 45. Okay. So I'm gonna go grab a snack. Cheese it. Sounds good. I'm honored tradition. I wish I had it's, I'm eating I'm eating wheat thins and rice crackers for the most part. Um mm. okay, first our little guy goes. 
I think the both of these guys are in range. So I think he shoots the guy who has six hit points. I'm Wait, sure. doesn't he have to move? Does he? Yeah. His range is only three. It is in three. Oh, so through the through the bushes. Yeah. I don't think he can see that guy. This guy? The guy who's hurt. I don't know that's which one cool. is the one that's hurt on your screen. Um, for me, the guy who's hurt is the guy in the middle. Okay, I think that's what I have too. Yeah, but he's not, his range is only three and he's four away. Oh, you have a different spot than I had him. That oh. would explain it. Yeah, he can see that guy. Okay, I'll buy it. He hits for six. Yeah, so I'm hoping he kills this guy. Oh, okay. Well, he does a leaf and a wound and a dark. Oh, my gosh. And a plus one. So he hits for seven. The guy is definitely dead. <laughs> very, very dead. And then also all of those. A so leaf the leaf and, and the dark are both available. Okay. Then the guard is going to shield himself up and attack nothing. And I am going to um, hit this archer with an attack of um, five. OK. Plus one, six points to this archer. Um, and then I'm going to move. Wait, so this archer has a move to range two. So if I were to move here, he would shoot me, right? As so long as I'm within range, he would shoot me. Yeah. So once I go here, then he's going to shoot the other guy instead because he doesn't have to move to shoot the other guy, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I go here, he can shoot over the furniture, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here and, and shield up. OK. Maybe that's dumb. That might be really dumb. <laughs> Never mind. I just ran into a room full of bad guys. I don't think that I'm the dumb one. I'm going to go here on this loot instead. Where are you going instead? On the loot, on the, where the hound died. Oh, OK. OK, now the shaman goes. He moves three, heals three, range three, but no one is hurt. Nope. So does he just stand, stay where he is? I think so, yeah. Okay. And the archers go. So this first archer moves forward, so he's in the range of you. Moves forward one and then shoots you for five. For five? Plus zero, five. All right, I definitely have to retreat. Yeah. I was thinking about trying to stick around and shoot some stuff, but. The um, other archer shoots me for four minus one for three, uh, but I shield it up and I'm gonna use my chain mail. So for one. I'm at 10. I'm at three, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, I am using my minor healing potion to get me back up to six. Oh wait, first my guys have to go. 
All right, so my void eater moves forward. Three, one, two, wait a second. Dang it, I don't think he comes this way. Does he? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he comes this way. One, two, three, right behind me. Um, shoots. Oh, this guy's dead. What the heck? Um, shoots. I don't know. This wolf, I guess. Okay. For two and a curse. Plus one for three and a curse. And a curse. Okay. And then my skeleton. Um, it's equivalent, so I'm moving the skeleton towards me. Yeah. One, two. And then um, I'm going to move two, one, two, back behind my Void Eater guy. And um, I have a one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one with me controlling the actions. Um, so he doesn't need to move, but he's going to do an attack of three and curse again on that. Should I curse the same guy? Sure. It's just okay. a card I just added into the deck. So I'm going to attack of th three and curse that same guy. Ooh, heal oneself. Does that mean he heals himself or he heals me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm controlling the actions, so it's totally me, right? I have no idea. I'm fine with that, though. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pretend it's me. Plus one, so four and a curse. So he's now down to one, and he's double cursed. And that is my turn. Okay. The hounds are going to go. Um, the guy who you hurt a lot is going to move forward one and attack your void walker or whatever he's called. So he doesn't attack nothing, and then he moves forward one and does attack. Right? That's how I read his. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. So he attacks for one plus one, two points of damage. Okay, that's fine. This guy has five hit points, so he's pretty good. Okay, the other wolf. And I can um, heal him. The other wolf attacks the air and then moves forward two, one, two, to be over here, and also attacks the void dude for uh, one point of damage. Still okay. And now it's the turn's over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would it be horrible if I did a long rest next turn? Probably, right? I don't think so. I mean, your guys are still going to go. Eric is saying, yes, it would be horrible of me. Okay. I'm going to take a long rest next turn because my guys will still go. Okay, I've got uh, 29. I have 55. Okay, first this guy. Who should he shoot? Um, probably the one that's about to die. Yeah, I mean, that guy's closer to him anyway, so I guess he has to go for him. Yeah. Okay, so he shoots for, what are we up to, six? Yeah. Heal oneself again. 
He hasn't taken any damage, though. Okay. Oh, no, yes, he has. Never mind, I forgot. Okay, he's up to 12 now. He's doing better than I am. I'm going to start using him as a tank. Plus one, that guy is super duper dead. The deadest. Dead. Dead. All the deadness. Okay, that was his turn. Okay, the other hound um, doesn't need to move and attacks the void person for two. Minus okay. one. One point of damage. You almost lost him there. And then I... Um, am oh, gonna I'm going to lose him this turn, aren't I? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Sad. I'm going to move one space towards the dude and then hit him. Yeah, I guess so. Plus one. I hit him for four. He's dead. Dead. Um, the guard moves for an attack too. So the guard finally moves. One, two, three, to be in the doorway. Mm -hmm. And attacks the void guy for two and moot whiffs. That was one of the curse cards. And now it's your turn. I'm so glad he whiffed. Okay. So my void eater is going to move back a space so that he can shoot. Um, and he's going to shoot. Which one's he going to shoot? I don't know. The wolf, I guess. The hound. For two and a curse. Or three and a curse. So three, one, two, three, and a curse. Um, and then my skeleton guy is going to move up to one, two, onto this loot and hit that same dude. For two plus one for three. So that guy's a, now down to two. Yeah. Yeah, but the the hound has a retaliate one. Okay, so my skeleton got hit for one. Um, and then I'm using my robes of summoning to heal my void guy for two because he was about to die. And then I'm moving two one two onto this loot over here. And then um, it's, hmm. it says two summoned allies move within range to move, uh, move plus zero with me controlling the action. So I'm actually going to move my void guy back another, how many, how many, oh, he has three. I'm going to move him back just like next to me in the trap so that he has a little bit more room. And that is my turn and I have to do a long rest on this next turn. Okay. The archer um, has attack of three range four. One, two, three. He's not, ooh, one, two, three, four. He's not in range of anyone. Okay. The archer does nothing. Um, the shaman also has a range of four, but he gets to move two. So, um, is is the shaman? Can the shaman? I think he's already he's already in range of this guy. Yeah, I think the shaman shoots the guy. Yeah, I think he does. Okay, so the shaman draws a whiff. Good curse card. Yay! <laughs> All my cursing is going quite well. Yeah, and now it's the next round. And you're taking a long rest. Yes. And I am... Well, 
long rest. Ooh, that means I get some health back and my ropes of summoning back. My dudes will still go though. Yeah. We need to remember that. Oh, geez. You're very cute. Um, I have 32. Okay, first this guy shoots the guard, I guess. Yeah. I'll buy it. For six plus two for eight. Eight. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. Um, then the archer, move one, attack three, range four. So move one, one, two. I think it shoots the skeleton. But I don't think this guy's in line of sight. Yeah, I think he shoots the skeleton. Okay, so the archer shoots the skeleton and creates a damage trap. Mm. So first, he draws a minus two. So he hits the skeleton for one damage. Okay. And then he creates a trap. Um on the loot, I think, right in front of him. Yeah. How much damage is it? The trap is a three damage trap. Okay. It says in a adjacent empty hex. Does the loot mean it's not empty? I don't think so. Is it supposed to be closest to us? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, just leave it. Uh, yeah. The hound is not going to move because he's next to the skeleton and attacks the skeleton for two plus one. Three points on a skeleton. Skeleton dead. Skeleton doesn't, have, right, a skeleton. Skeleton doesn't have a shield. Skeleton has nothing. Skeleton is like the lowest level minion ever. The shaman heals the guard for three points. <laughs> Sad. Then I go. Uh, sadly, I move two spaces. Wait. I free this guy. Hey. Nice. Then move two spaces. So now this guy is at seven attack. Then the guard moves two spaces there and attacks Redthorn. Yeah. Attacking for a plus one, so that's four points on Redthorn. He's down to eight. Okay. And now it's your turn. OK. Um, so my Void Eater guy moves. Actually, does he move? Yeah, he moves in between the bush and the trap. And he shoots the guard for two and curse, plus zero for two and curse. Wait, does that guy have shield? Nope. And then that's it because I did a long rest. Yep. Okay, and I, I did a short rest. Um. Uh, 
bummer. <laughs> That's a good card. Um, I can heal you this turn. I can heal you this turn. Yay! I am all the way back up to nine, but I'm still gravely wounded. Okay. I have 56. I have 32. Okay, our little guy goes first. Okay. Um, so I guess he backs up and shoots the guard? I think so, yeah. Or does he shoot the hound? I think he shoots a guard. Oh, you mean he doesn't need a backup just to shoot the hound, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. he shoots the hound. All right, so he shoots the hound for seven plus one for eight. The hound is extremely dead. The deadest of hounds. Okay, the guard goes. Um, the guard shields up and then attacks our guy for three plus poison. Oh. He, he gets a plus one, so four points plus poison on Red Thorn. He's down to four points. You might want to heal him and not me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, the shaman <laughs> is going to move here and oh, heal the guard. Where's the shaman move to? I'm sorry. There's a situation developing here. He, the shaman moves close enough to the so that he's three spaces away from the guard. So like, you know, right there. Okay, I see. And then he heals the guard for three points. Ugh. And then it's your turn. Okay. So my void eater guy attacks the guard for two and curse again. Times two for four and curse. And then I um, am playing the two summit allies within range two perform attack plus zero again. So um, uh, he hits again for two and curse plus zero. So just two and another curse. So that guy's now down to one and has like a million curse cards. Um, and then I'm attacking that same guy, I guess, for three and plus zero for three. So that guy's now dead. Dead. And I am also healing my Void Eater for another two points. And that is my turn. Okay. I am moving one, two, three, four, five spaces. Wait. One, one, two, three, four, five. I'm moving on top of this loot here. Which loot? The loot that's right next to the shaman or? Yeah. I'm assuming we can't hit each other, right? Because there's a wall in the way. Yeah, there's a wall in the way. Okay, but yeah, I hopped onto that loot there. Um, okay. And then I um, am going to heal Redthorn for three points. Nope, you're going to heal him for not being poisoned. Oh, yeah. Heal him for not being poisoned and also cause the sun symbol to appear. Okay. That's my turn. Exciting, huh? Uh, Yep. Archer 
holy shit. <laughs> Maybe I didn't want to do that. Uh, I'm totally in range of the archer. He's going to shoot me for five. Can he see you? Yeah, he can see you. Yeah, he can see me. He draws a curse card. Yay! All right, next round. That void, the void guy is awesome. Those curses are totally awesome. Yeah, those are, that's my new guy. And it was like, use the cursing as much as possible. Um, yep. Okay, I have 18. I have 45. All right, first our little guy, uh, I believe shoots a shaman. Yep, he shoots a shaman for, what are we up to now, seven? seven. Oh, I needed to, hold on. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to. We're shuffling over. Shaman's gonna curse us too. Okay, so he shoots the shaman for seven plus two for eight. Wait, seven plus two is nine. You're right, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I need more coffee. <laughs> um, the shaman has a range of four. Does the shaman try to make it so that he can target two people? Yes, he tries to. So he probably moves into the doorway. But then or, he's a disadvantage on me. Or does he shoot you around the corner? <laughs> like stick his head through. <laughs> I don't Can know. he see you? Or does he move on to the trap? <laughs> I don't think he does. I think he'd rather be at disadvantage than on the trap. Okay. So I think he moves into the doorway. He can actually move four though. He can move here. No, he can move. Wait, he can move here and attack me and Redthorn. Might do that then. Okay, I think that's what he's doing. So he's moving next to your Void guy, but attacking me okay. and Redthorn. Yeah, so then he uh, shoots me for two plus zero. Um, geez, so I, I haven't gone yet. Um, so I'll use my chain mail. So he hits me for one. So I'm at nine. Okay. And he also curses me. Boom. I guess he's gonna curse Red Thorn, so I gotta get a curse card from my deck too. Yeah. So he shoots. Well, he might miss. He shoots Red Thorn and misses. Because I've been cursing the heck out of them. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now it's my turn. Okay. 
Um, the shaman has five hit points. I should try to just kill him, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to move on to this loot here. And shield up. And then um, attack the shaman for five. Plus zero. But the shaman's dead. Dead. Bye bye, shaman. Yeah, and then I am going to use a healing potion to bring myself back up to 14. And I am also using a stamina potion to grab two cards. Oh, I used up the um, sun symbol, by the way, with that attack. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use my moon earring to reset my chain mail. Okay. Cool. And now it's the archer's turn, right? Yeah. The archer has a range of five. So I he's gonna attack. He's gonna attack Red me because he can shoot me, right? I mean, he can hit me. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. He can hit Redthorn too, and Redthorn has lower but initiative. He can't, can't, I don't think he can see him. You know? Oh, you're right. But I think he can see me. He can definitely see you. Yeah. I don't think he can see Redthorn, so I think he shoots me. Okay. Um, and draws a minus one. So hits me for two. Um, but I shielded up. So hits me for one and I'll use my chainmail again so it hits me for zero. Cool. Now it's your turn. Okay so my void guy goes one two three into the doorway and shoots the archer for two and a curse for three and a curse so one two three and cursed and then um I will shoot. Um, I guess I go one, two, and then take that loot and you know what? I'll do it this way. And I'm going to summon a slime spirit right in front of me. Slime spirit is and that is my turn. And I gotta do a short rest. Okay. Next round. Do you or Redthorn need healing now? Um, Redthorn definitely needs healing. He's down to four hit points. Okay. What's in this pile? Some good stuff. That's what I'm gonna do then.
Oh, this is probably bad. I got 56. I have 45. Okay. Um, the uh, red thorn guy goes first. Yeah. Moves three, right? One, two, three. One, two. Oh, man, my slime spirit's in the way. Would he move over next to you or would he not move because there's not really a good spot for him? You know what? He can see through the doorway if he moves over next to you. I think he moves next to me but doesn't shoot because he's not in range. That guy's in range. How, what's Red Thorn's range? Three. Are we not counting the right, the same? Oh, next huh? to right there? One, two, next to you, yeah, like move through me and my summon. Oh, and then shoots like, yeah, I think that works. Yeah, okay, so he shoots for seven times two, 14. Okay. That guy did. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And not I guess I got to shuffle because we don't have anything else to. Yeah, I'm not going to attack anything else. OK, so now it's my turn. Um, Your guys don't move. <laughs> my guys don't move. Um, but one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one. So my slime spirit moves. He doesn't attack, but he moves four. One, two, three, four. Over to there. And then I'm doing my recover up to four of my lost cards. So those are now mine again. And that's my turn. OK. Now my turn, I am moving. Um, or first, I'm healing Red Thorn for three. OK causing a sun icon to appear. And then I'm moving five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, like that. I guess that's it. Yep. Next round. Okay, what's going to be in this last room? I have 29. I have 32. All right. First, I am moving. Well, first, Redthorn does nothing because yeah. the door is not open. He does nothing. Uh, I move into the door. One, two. We have a shaman and an archer. No, a shaman and a guard. Yeah, an elite shaman too. Three. And a regular guard. And one, one last orchid. Yeah. Or two. Oh no, two orchids. Uh, but also I still have two move two movements, so I move up to the guard. Okay. Um punch him in the face. And I am gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> I use up the sun icon. 
and I hit him for four. Four plus one, five points on the guard. One, two, three, four, five. Um, now the shaman goes and heals the guard I just punched. <laughs> Four points. One, two, three. Now it's your turn. Okay. First, my slime spirit moves three. One, two, three. Thoroughly gumming up the works. Then my void eater moves three. One, two, three. Then I move five. One, two, three. Oh, I have jump. No, that doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, I guess. So that I'm like, let me see, hold on. Yeah, I guess right there. Okay. Um, and then, I can't do anything with my other card because I didn't get as close as I thought I would. So that's a waste of a card. And there's nobody next to me to do anything to. So the end. There's that void that was guy next to you. Hmm? I mean, there's no enemy next to you. Yeah, there's no enemy or no orchid next to me. So I couldn't like sacrifice the card to save the orchid. Oh, right, right, right. I guess I could have gone over here and saved the orchid. Does that make more sense? I don't know. It depends on how close you want to be to the action. Well, that gives Redthorn another hit, another, then he'd be up to eight that he's hitting for. But I don't think he's going to get close to the action for a while. So I don't think that that makes sense. Because he only moves three at a time. So it's going to take him a little while to catch up. Yeah. Sad. Okay. So then the guard. Um, oh, geez. The guard doesn't need to move and it's just going to shoot one of the orchids. Shoot. Literally. So I guess the one next to the beer barrel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guard hits for uh, three minus one for two points. Okay. And now it's the next round. Okay. I think we got this. I think we do too, although I'm a little concerned about those two orchids. But my slime spirit's about to go tank for us, so. Ooh, man, I have a, a crazy ass card right now. Okay. I have 23. I have 55. All right, our little guy goes first. Um, he moves three, right? Yep. So one, right two, behind. three, like right here. <laughs> Catch up, there. <laughs> I've mastered the art of teleportation, have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, now the shaman is going to move and attack and disarm and all this other shit. So uh, he doesn't need to move because I'm not in his face. He hits me for two and a disarm. So he's going to hit me. He's going to whiff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This Void Eater guy is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I really like it. Uh, I am going to like lose a card to make all allies within five spaces move four. So the guy behind you. Yep. Two, three. He gets Actually, that's all of us. I think. Well, yeah, I think that's all of you. I think that's everyone. Okay. Unless I so, need line of sight. I don't think so. It just says within five spaces, right? No, actually, it does have a. Uh, it does have a. Um, a. A bow icon. Jeez. Uh, 
it's just totally not focusing. There you go. You know, so maybe I, it has to be within line of sight. Okay, in which case you have line of sight to this guy. I think everyone that except guy. you. <laughs> yeah, everybody except me. All right, well, I'll just move everybody but me in. Okay, one, two, three, and he's out of room right there. But at least he's protecting the um, the orchids now. One, two, how many? Four, you said? Yep. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then I'm just alone in the background. <laughs> and then my other ability is I'm going to make a standard attack of an attack of one. <laughs> Normally, okay. it's two, but because I have retaliate, it's actually only one. So, one plus one, two points to the guard. Two points to the guard. Does he have retaliate? Nope. Sweet. And now the guard is going to attack me. With a plus zero, so attacks me for three. I have no shield up, but I do have this chain mail, so I'll use the chain mail once. So I get hit for two. Okay. And I retaliate him for two. Sweet. And now it's your turn. Okay. So my slime spirit guy, I guess he attacks the guard because the guard is lower health right now. But he attacks for uh, one and muddle. Still one and muddle. So that guard is now muddled. I'm down to four points. My void eater attacks that same guard for two and curse. Still just two and curse. So another curse card and two. So now that guy's down to two. Um, I am going to move into the doorway. One, two, and I'm going to summon my thorn shooter right in front of me. Um, blue, one, two, 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 four, and that is my turn, and I'm going to take a long rest on this next turn. Actually, how many more turns do you think we're going to have? I think we can kill them in like two turns, one turn. Okay, then I'm just going to take a short rest. Yeah, I'm taking a short rest as well. Nah, it's one of my good cards. Shoot. I don't need this card anymore, but this is not the card that went. Ooh. <laughs> okay, next round. Time for Whalen. Does anyone need healing? Um, Redthorn has seven and I have nine. So Redthorn could use healing, but he's also way in the back and I don't think he's going to get hit again. Yeah, I think we, I can just, I should just attack someone. Yeah. Oops. Uh, and 
Wow, geez. Okay, I got 56. I have 13. Okay, red thorn first. Uh, okay, so he shoots the guard, I guess? I guess so, yeah. For seven plus one for eight. Guard is super dead. Then your turn. Okay, so my slang guy attacks the shaman for one and muddle, for two and muddle. One, two, muddle. And then my uh, void eater moves up one and shoots him for two and curse. Ooh, a wound and the leaf symbol and healing oneself and plus two. So for four and curse, one, two, three, four, and a curse. And is he, he is at eight. Okay, yeah. And then my thorn shooter shoots him. One, two, three, yep. My thorn shooter shoots him for two and poison, plus one for three and poison, so he's now also poisoned. And then I am moving to one, two, which means nothing really. And then I am one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one. Um, my, my thorn shooter is not um, moving, but it's going to attack for three and poison again. That doesn't matter. Heal oneself plus one for four and poisoned again. Oh, five. He's dead. Wow. Because he was poisoned already. And that's my turn. <laughs> okay, I guess I just need to collect loot. Um, yeah, I'm sad that I couldn't collect the loot. Yeah, I'll just move on. Actually, space. hold on, could I have collected some loot? Because I was next to him on this side. Oh, you're right here. So if I did that first, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, all right, I got a loot. I ended up next to the shaman that's dead. And collected the loot that's like farthest away. Not I didn't know that that would happen, though. That's true. Oh, the farthest? But I could have moved there anyway. Farthest away, like right there? Yeah, like right there. Okay. Anyways, I move one space and grab this other loot. <laughs> cool. And we win. Yeah, that was pretty easy. <laughs> I will read. Yeah, it wasn't, it started off and I was very nervous and then it didn't go as badly as I feared. Except for that inadvised, ill-advised running in when I'm not the tank. With the Enox dead, you move around the camp, untying the captive orchids and helping them to their feet. They offer you their subdued thanks with nods of their head. We are reserved people, Redthorn says as he approaches. Don't expect them to throw you a party, but know that you have done a monumental good here today. Most of these residents would have been slaughtered had we not arrived when we did. He falls into silence with a downcast stare. I still feel it in the pit of my stomach. I thought slaying my captors would make it go away. I thought saving another village would compensate for failing my own, but it doesn't. The guilt is still there and I have been changed by it. This village is not my village, but even if it were, I could not stay. I no longer belong. If you need my help in the future, you can find me among the trees. Uh, we get to open a box and get two reputation, which I don't think we need because our reputation is like through the roof right now. Yeah, we can't get any more reputation. We have the highest of high reputations. Um, but we get to open, um, we get to open the box. It's a character, right? Yeah. 
how much XP and um, how much XP do we get at the base level? Um, we get so we get three gold for each of our loots, and we get XP of ten. My goal was to um, either disarm or cause a trap to go off. That's why I jumped into the trap. That's why you walked into that trap for no reason? Unfortunately, by running into the room, I failed at my my thing, which was that my current hit point value must be equal to my maximum, and I never oh. recovered from running into those hounds. Sad for me. But we got the Doom Stalker. I don't have the, the box of stuff, so I don't know what the Doom Stalker does, but we've unlocked him. That's good. Mm -hmm. Doom Stalker. But now what? Because we're supposed to also do. 48. So after right? the ends. Oh, the Shadow Wald. Wald. So 48 is the next one for the like mean, yeah, the end of corruption thing they were supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. Yep. All right. Awesome. So this, there's always like a bit of a letdown at the end of these because it's like, yay, we won. <laughs> and then we start looking at stuff and we're super boring. <laughs> I'm unplugging my phone. So thanks for joining us, anybody who actually joined us. Yes. This was, this was a Sorry. win. Do you think we yeah. should uh, boost up the difficulty? Maybe. Um, I mean, that wasn't super hard, but I don't know. It wasn't super hard. We could try to play it normal now. Now that we have higher level characters. Yeah. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I did feel I like feel that was like a little bit too easy. It was easy, but we did almost lose Redthorn. I guess that's true. It could go either way. It could be, it might be good to, to bump it up. Um, but if it's an escort quest, is this an escort quest? It is not. So we could try to do normal. No reason not to try. Are there higher rewards for doing it normal? Um, so the difference is just that the level, as the level goes up, we get more XP and more gold. Okay. So we would be at level four, which means that the gold would be, each, each loot is worth four gold. And we get 12 XP at the end. That's probably but, worth it. Yeah. I mean, I need gold like crazy. I do not have very much in the way of gold. Mm -hmm. Which is frustrating because that means I can't buy anything. <laughs> right. I don't get to go shopping, Mark. It's problematic. Which is hilarious because in real life, I hate shopping. <laughs> but in RPGs, I love shopping. <laughs> if I guess if I could buy like a bag of holding and things like that when I went shopping, I'd be super excited to go shopping in real life too, but I can't buy those things. So sad for me. 
Yep. Okay, I guess I'll stop recording. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time, whenever that is. <laughs> yeah, whenever that is. Not sure when.